Welcome to the Florist Review online video featuring design techniques for the professional florist. I'm Leanne Kessler, Director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I want to share with you how to design with gorgeous Phalaenopsis orchids. The base of the bouquet is a standard straight handle bridal bouquet holder. And before I began designing, I covered my mechanics by covering the back with Gaelic sleeves. They're attached using the 3M Super 77 spray glue, and then just doing some basic greening in the front to make sure that none of the white will show through as I add the flowers. To create the armature, I started with barked wire and created a framework then using bind wire and bits of curly willow, enhanced it by just lashing the willow directly to the frame. And this begins the base that supports the gorgeous orchids. To attach the armature, start by adding bits of curly willow directly into the holder. Then lay the armature in place. And then, using bind wire, continue weaving these bits into your framework and then secure it. And that will make the whole structure stable to design. Of course, the easiest way to design is just to leave the orchids on their natural stem. But when you look at them, you can see the faces don't always go exactly where you want them to be. So sometimes you'll end up with two correct, and then one backwards, or maybe even sideways. But still, it works well to get started with flowers directly on the stem and just cutting them down and placing them into the holder. To get the orchids positioned exactly where you want them, you can wire and tape. And to do that, I start with white tape, 22 gauge wire, and I tape a segment in the center of the wire, then bend it into a U. So you're going to hairpin it over the top of the bloom, then just remove the bloom from the stem, and then gently weave the wire through the throat, but not piercing. You don't want to go through any of the petals, and it just hides down into the throat. That white tape makes it just disappear. Then once you've got that in there, you can take your green tape, creating an artificial stem. Again, watching out for the petals. You don't want to tear or damage those. They're so fragile. Tape down. Then you've got a nice stem that you can cut and put wherever you want it. The third technique that I want to share with you is actually my favorite, and that's to use the Super 77 3M spray glue. To do this, you take the orchid, remove it, totally remove the stem, then lay it face down, and then just spray lightly. Wait till it's tacky. It has to dry a little bit. You'll know it's tacky when you can touch it with your finger and it sticks. Then just take that very, very gently and nestle it right against your framework and it will stay perfectly. Three easy techniques for Phalaenopsis orchids using a natural stem, using wire and tape, and then spray glue. And you can see they look fabulous and they'll hold really well. Once you get all your orchids in place, you can enhance with additional willow, vine, billy balls, whatever you like. So now you've got a picture in your magazine. Tear it out, post it in the back room as a reminder of the three easy techniques. Now it's your turn. You know the techniques, just add your own creativity.